Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today we're gonna to be making up some, which I thought I had, and everybody's like, well, how come you haven't made your macaroni salad? You done your potato, and I didn't even realize I didn't have one. So, summer's coming up, spring picnics are gonna start, barbecues are gonna start, so I figured I'm gonna get in here right quick and share this with y'all. So, here I have two seven ounce packages of small elbow macaroni, which is almost not quite not quite four cups but um it's two of the seven ounce packages or just get the eight ounces and make a pound of it up but i cook that till you know follow your package directions on cooking your macaroni or if you like it more el dente just don't cook it as long and i pre-boiled me and chopped me four boiled eggs and in here let me scoot this just like my potato salad, I don't like a wet potato salad. So I put all my chopped vegetables in here and drizzled them with salt because I don't like a, uh, like a thin sloppy salad. And after it sets a while with all the vegetables, you get all that stuff in there. Yes, it's flavor, but it also does thin out your mayonnaise and you don't have as much as a creamy consistency. So I like to drain that and let it let it set while I'm getting everything ready. Even if you can do it a few hours of he ahead of time. But chop them up, drizzle them with some salt. Not a whole lot of salt. And then just let it drain. And then I'll help it along by just patting it and pushing it through that little sip. And then right at the end, I'll just pat it with a paper towel. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of patting it and shaking it here and getting that... Ju the juices off of it but in there I have like I said it's two seven ounce packages of small macaroni and then I have the four boiled eggs chopped up really well I have in here in here I have one quarter cup of chopped red bell pepper one quarter cup of chopped green bell pepper chopped very fine one quarter cup of cucumber make sure it's seeded and chopped really well and one cup of celery and four medium green onions and that's what I have in there now if you don't like cucumber you don't need to put it in but if you think cucumber and salad it's really good don't knock it till you try it it's it just it's really fresh gives that salad a something different flavor people mix you people will make it you know it will make them think it's in that salad it's cucumber it doesn't present itself really well. It just changes up the flavor. So Here, I'm going to drop that in. All of my chopped up vegetables. Okay, I should have gotten a bigger bowl, but I tried to get something that's not so high. So, you I mean, because I wanted you all to see what's going on here. Or you could just, you know, mix that all in with your, which is what I usually do, but I got everything pre-measured out here. And in my mayonnaise, I have one and a half cups of mayonnaise. You may need a little bit more, just depends on, on your taste. But in there, I have a half a teaspoon of salt I'm going to add to it, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm just going to stir that up in my mayo. Okay, and this is, it's quick. Ew. Oh, almost forgot. Just a quick drizzle of some garlic powder. Just a little drizzle, not even an eighth of a teaspoon. And a drizzle of your seasoned salt or season all, whichever one you use. I use them both, but I'm out of, out of my lorry, so probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of that. And like I said, salt will be to your taste, but I did add a half a teaspoon. And a lot of people like to add vinegar and stuff in there, but I am i grew up on the old school one where you didn't add vinegar and stuff like that to your salads back then. You know, so does that tell you I'm old? <laughs> I'm not that old. But, but if you like your vinegar, go ahead and add it in there. And I'm going to add my four chopped boiled eggs. Okay. 
I really should have got a bigger bowl. But I'm just gonna get this mixed up, guys. All right, I got it all mixed up and put some in a bowl. I'm gonna set it on the table and let them serve themselves. But I ended up adding probably about a teaspoon of salt. I did uh, add a little bit more salt as I was mixing it. But like I said, I wanted to get on, and there's so many more things you guys could add to it, you know, make it yours. You know, you could add some bacon in there. Uh, black olives is also good in there. Um, some peas are good in there. A lot of times I'll add those peas in there and it just gives them a really good flavor. But this is the type I was looking for today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And please let the macar make your macaroni salad the night before you're going to eat it. Because just like potato salad, macaroni has to set to develop its flavors from all those vegetables you're putting in there. Because if you make it and eat it, you're not getting none of that flavor. You're going to be like, oh, you can't, it doesn't even taste like anything. Macaroni salad has to set. So please make sure you let it have plenty of time, hours to set and let me know what you think and until then we will see you guys later and you have a blessed day and subscribe please